Welcome to 2018 question A3. This is a conics question. So the image on the right shows the Salmon Weir Bridge over the Moy in County Mayo. The drawing below shows the incomplete elevation of the bridge. Okay. The curved uh, support pillar is based on a parabola, which is inscribed in a rectangle. Right. So we've got our curved support pillar. Right. Which is going to be here. And it's based on a parabola. V is the vertex of the parabola, and P is a point on the curve. Draw the parabola. So this is our junior search. Excuse me, our junior search construction for drawing a parabola, um, and we're just drawing a semi-parabola. Usually we divide up this line into equal parts, but they've got one division done first. So I'm just going to get that distance on my compass and step it off once, twice three times and that should be equal to that. Correct. And then I'll get the distance for this division, which has been done first, and I'll step it off as well. And that's equal there. Great. So uh, I've got my line running out there, so or sorry, parallel to my axis. So draw my Lines running there, like so, and then the other points we can see join back to the vertex. Okay, so that's nice and quick construction for drawing my parabola. True point P up here to my vertex. Okay, then part B, F is the focal point of the parabola here. The P, point P is anchored at the bridge surface axis, sorry. So the point P is anchored uh, to the bridge on the surface by two cables. Okay, so it's going to be anchored down here by two cables. The line PF is one cable. Okay, so P to F is going to be one of the cables, similar to one of these. The second cable is inclined at 25 degrees to a tangent at P. So we need to find a tangent and then measure 25 degrees from that. Construct the tangent from P and draw both cables. So first off, nice easy cable to find was P F. Okay, so that's P F done. Okay, then the second cable we need to draw a tangent. So a um, couple of methods for this, the way they're trying to get us to do it, I presume, is because the parabola is the method whereby, if you imagine, our directrix would be over here, okay, so I'm going to draw a line towards our directrix, and if I bisect this angle, that will give me the position of the parabola. So I'm going to draw that. Bisect the line. Okay, so that will find me a tangent to point P. Okay, so that's one method. The second method that you could use is it's probably a little bit more complex. You could find the directrix, so get that distance there and step it off, because the eccentricity of the parabola is PF over PD is 1 is to 1. So I could find my, my directrix there, just draw this lightly just to show you. And then I could use the method whereby I join P to F and I go at 90 degrees, use my sliding steps for 90 degrees, I know it goes way down to the other drawing, but they'd still accept it until we hit our directrix and where that line hits our directrix it would give us that same tangent. That's just something for yourself. Okay? It's just a method that I encourage people to use because it works um, it, for a tangent to all conics. Anyway, we have located our parabola here. Sorry, we've located our tangent. Okay, using that construction, bisecting construction. Okay, and they are telling us that second cable is inclined at 25 degrees to this tangent. So 
So I have to just extend this on slightly because I know I'm going to need to with my particular protractor. So 25 degrees. I'm not going to measure 25 degrees in this direction because that will bring me inside the parabola. Just using kind of common sense, that's not what's done in the actual real bridge. So I'm going to measure 25 degrees out this way. So line up my P and my zero degrees and it's 25 degrees there. So now I can draw P back and that is an angle of 25 degrees. Okay, so that is 2008, sorry, 2018, question 3A, it's a comics question, nice, nice kind of handy uh, question, so long as you know construction for a tangent.